Hello guys, Mike MD. Thanks for joining me today. What is the heart of your car's air conditioning system? We all like our AC. It is the AC compressor. This thing's actually an engineering marvel, all packed up into this little package here. We're gonna take it apart. So the way this pump works is it's bolted to the side of the engine. There's a belt that goes on this pulley here and turns it. And in the system, there's a gas, they call it Freon. And what it does is it turns it and compresses it and pushes it at high pressure on this side. We ended up replacing this unit because it seized internally, causing it to lock up and the drive belt, which turns it, uh, just actually melted away. Man, these are on tight. Oh wow, look at all that oil coming out of there. Whew. If you look at this pulley, it's really a neat design. It has a big bearing in here but it's not a solid piece. What it is is they have these little inserts that actually turn at the same time it has a dampening effect. More oil. This is the cylinder head. Gasket. reeds so these reeds act like a check valve let me get this gasket spacer out of here okay here we go so what it does is it goes over these little passages here and they can open and close based off of pressure all these here are the pistons they go up and down you see this inside this bore they're all inside of a bore it's kind of like an engine on a car the lower portion here Oh, check this out. This is a really neat bearing. This is called a thrust bearing. It can handle a lot of load because of all these little needle bearings running along it. Really cool to play with. All right, here's the bottom portion of all the pistons. And what this is right here, this little plate that moves along, they call it a swash plate. See that? Whoops. Bye-bye. You can actually see it better out. So here's the piston, and it's on the swash plate and the piston rides on here. So as this spins, it's not going anywhere because the plate isn't, doesn't have a pitch to it. So what this valve does is it changes the internal pressures in here, which then changes the pitch of the plate. So when this spins, it causes the piston to go up and down inside of its chamber. Look at that, really cool. It's so smooth. So the two main failures of so the two main failures of AC compressors is one is going to be heat. A lot of the manufacturers put these things right next right next to the exhaust. Uh, two is lubrication. So over the years of owning a car, you may have your AC serviced because you had like a leak or something somewhere. Well, if these things run really low on Freon uh, or they run low on oil because you have a leak, uh, then it's going to cause some major premature wear. On this compressor, I can see why it failed. It doesn't seem like much. It had, it had gotten overheated, calling, causing some cylinder bore scoring. And when, once it gets to that point, it starts binding, it gets really tight. It's kind of smooth now, it's a little rough, but that's why this failed. So this one's nice and smooth. This one you can hear it scoring. I hope you learned something. This thing is really neat. Lots of cool little pieces in here. Tune in for more videos like this. Please like, subscribe, and happy motoring to you.